Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Ninja, and welcome, guys, back to a brand new episode of the Topic series. Uh, here on the channel, the brand new series that just came out, and I wanted to see you up. Before I start up with the second topic episode of this topic series, another episode of this topic of the topic series, make sure you guys go down below, hit that like button down below. Let's try to hit the video to five likes. If you could do that, that would be amazing. Also, if this is the first time here, then click that subscribe button. Up. I need you guys' help. I'm trying to get this channel to 3,000 subscribers by June 12th, 2024. So if you guys can help me out with that, that would be amazing. So yeah, also guys, hit that notification bell to never miss when I upload a video. You know what that's so yeah. Also guys, share this video with your friends and your family. Make sure you guys go down below and go subscribe to our two other channels. Link is in the description down below. So let me let me backtrack and what I let me rewind on what we talked about. The very first topic episode I talked about, I talked about the future of Sony and how Sony could be bad or Sony could be good and all that, so yeah. Today guys, a continuation, this is going to be like two topics in one, so yeah. So this is like a part one, a part two topic video right here. It's not a two part video, it's going to be talking about two topics. Which, it's going to be part one topic, which is going to be the first topic. And the part two topic, I'm going to talk about next up in this video. So yeah. So the very first topic, so this, so the first part of this topic I want to talk about is, it's a continuation with the field, it's a continuation with the first topic. And yeah, how I talked about how, excuse me, how, uh, Sony is working up, like, Sony is doing something very interesting with Mo, with this whole entire company and all of that, and all of that, how these films are not doing very well. Well, I think there's a possibility that Marvel Studios might be suing Disney, I, I mean, well, I mean, suing Sony, saying that I think what's actually happened is if these next few Sony movies does, Sony Marvel movies does very bad, then Marvel would be like, hey, Sony. We are suing you, and we are begging you to give us back the Spider-Man rights. Yeah, guys, I'm talking about the possibility that Marvel Studios, Marvel needs to get the Spider-Man rights back. Because Sony is not, is not really working on the Spider-Man rights, likely. They're trying to ruin Spider-Man. Sony's trying to ruin Spider-Man in their new Sony Spider-Man universe. Which has been not making a lot of money, only the movie, where well, only the Phantom films have been. But all of them is all of the rotten score for Sony and all of that. I'm just saying that for Sony, I just think Sony needs to give up and give the Spider Man rights back to Marvel because if these next few films does very bad, what would Sony do? Like, how could Sony keep the Spider Man rights? They can't. I'm sorry, they can't. They can't just keep the rights because they can't. That's what I'm trying to say, you know, with that. And I was trying to say before, guys, I believe that Sony, I believe Marvel Studios just needs to get the Spider-Man rights back. Because, guess what? Marvel could do much more better Spider-Man films than Sony can. I know we have, of course, the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man trilogy, and we got, of course, the two Andrew Garfield movies, where people say that they are like the greatest movies ever. People say that the the the, the, the Tobey Maguire trilogy is a great trilogy, one of the best ones. People absolutely love the first two. I absolutely really love the first two top Tobey Maguire movies. Not I I wasn't really a fan of the I wasn't really a fan of the third Tobey Maguire movie. It's not like my least favorite. It's it's, the third movie is cringy for me, and it's so, like, weird to talk about and all of that. I do enjoy The Amazing Spider-Man 1, it was good. The Amazing Spider-Man 2 was better than The Amazing Spider-Man 1, no, I don't take it. But I think The Amazing Spider-Man 2 was better, and all of this, so yeah. But when you had to, because I just came, 
Toby McGuire's spot, the first Toby film made over $800 million. The second one was almost close to $800 million, but it was like somewhere between $780 to $790 million. Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man 3, I mean, uh, Spider-Man 3 made like around $890 million, becoming like the highest gross in the Sony film at that time. And then you got, of course, The Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2, which only made like around $700 million. But when you hit the Tom Holland Spider-Man trilogy, the Homecoming trilogy, you have, of course, Spider-Man Homecoming, which made like around $850 to $860 million. I don't remember, I don't remember the, I don't remember what the amount of that is. But when you hit to Far From Home, when you hit to Far From Home, and no way home, you have Spider-Man Far From Home, which made $1.1 billion at the box office. And then you had to Spider-Man No Way Home, No Way Home made over $1.9 billion, close to $2 billion, which this is amazing that Spider-Man No Way Home is one of the top 10 highest grossing films at the box office ever. And all of that. But when you talk about uh, what when you talk about movies, Marvel Studios can make a story. And guess what? Marvel in Disney, Marvel and Bob Iger is changing a lot for Spider-Man right for Marvel right now, and they're trying to make a story. So Marvel Studios is better than Sony because Sony doesn't know how to make a story. Sony doesn't know how to do good stories because Sony always rush through these movies. They always rush through it. That's why these films doesn't have too much budget. Look at the Marvel films. The Marvel films has like over a hundred, two hundred to three hundred million dollar budget films to make it expensive movies. But look at Sony. They always use like 70, 80 to a hundred million dollar budget films. It's so weird to think about it, and yeah, but I think uh, there's a possibility because for me, do I want Marvel Studios to take the Spider-Man rights back? Yes, Sony needs to just flip up. It just they they need to they need to get out of the way. They need to get the flip. They need to get. They need to get. They need to take the Marvel lights and get the freak out of Spider-Man. Get the freak away from Spider-Man. And all of that. Because Sony's is not doing amazing. The only films that the only films that people really love is the animated films. But we only have by half of we only have one more Spider-Verse film left uh, from uh, Sony. And afterwards, they're done. They're done with Across the door with the Spider Force trilogy, trilogy, and they're now heading to the MCU, probably. Or the, or the live action ones, I don't really know, but yeah. But I just feel like Disney needs to get the Spider Man rights back. I'm just saying that. I'm just saying that. And also, we have to remember that Marvel Studios is about to start a reboot. After Secret Wars, and I think I think Marvel Studios must have every single character from Disney. Disney have every Marvel character before the reboot because you know me, guys. If the reboot does happen, which is going to happen, and all of that, they want to make sure they have every Spider-Man character that they have, and all of that. So, if Marvel gets the Spider-Man rights back. This is amazing because Marvel could do better Spider-Man films. Look at No Way Home. No Way Home was like the best film that they have ever made. That was like the best Spider-Man film. Well, I don't believe it is. Uh, Spider-Man 2 will always be my favorite Spider-Man film from, from Tobey Maguire. That will always be my favorite Spider-Man film right there. But yeah. But I love this. But I really. But I love this idea of Marvel Studios bringing back the Spider-Man rights. I'm just saying. Marvel just needs to do it. Marvel just needs to sit down and just Sony needs to sell the dog with Spider-Man. Sony should just give up with Spider-Man and just give it back to Marvel because like I said in the first video when I, when I talk about when I when I talk about yesterday's video, I talked about how I talked about how uh 
how so these next few films are gonna be terrible. Like I like look at Modern Web. Modern Web is doing it terrible right now. And if Craven the Hunter does have the same steps as when Modern Web is making, like Sony really Sony say that Craven the Hunter is going to be an amazing film. They said that Craven the Hunter was one of the best films ever. But guess what? We are the fans. And all of that. If people hate it by the web, if people hate Quiver the Hunter in Venom 3, Sony needs to get. Sony just so give up on Spider Man. Now, what's some other ideas that Sony has? Look, Sony doesn't need Spider Man. Guess what? Sony has their own thing. Guess what? You have. You have, of course, Chris Miller and Phil Lord, who's working on the Sony side, the Sony animation side of Marvel. I mean, Sony animation side of Sony. Sony, you know what that. Look, guys, guess what? Superhero movies can happen. Look, this, look at Disney and look at Pixar. Disney made Big Hero 6. Which is a Marvel movie, but, well, because they're at least in this movies, but yeah. But look at Pixar. Pixar made their own superhero movie, being The Incredibles, uh, which is like the Pixar version of the Fantastic Four, but it's, you can say that if, uh, you can actually say that in an interesting way, but not, I just said that because, yeah. But what could Sony can do? Sony doesn't need Spider-Man. Sony can think of what the Avengers, what the Marvel movies does, and make their own superhero characters. Make their own superhero characters and all of that. Look at DreamWorks. DreamWorks has Mega Mind, which is their DC version, which they have, which they have Mega Mind, which has their own course, their DC universe. Which is the same thing with DC, which you have, of course, a Metro Man as Superman, and you have Mega Man as Lex Luthor. Lex Luthor. And all of that. Well, Titan, I don't really know what Titan is supposed to be, but yeah. Maybe the evil Superman, something like that. I don't really know, but yeah. But look, at, but look Sony can do their own superhero movie. Sony doesn't need Marvel. Sony doesn't need Spider Man. All Sony needs is to make their own Spider-Man movie. They need to make their own Spider-Man except Spider-Man. They need to make their own type, like, you can put it in like a little bit superhero, a comic like, I don't know, like, uh, Metal Man, Super, Super Metal Man. Metal Man is could be like, Sony's version of Iron Man. But you can make your own names and all that. You don't need to copy Marvel, Sony. All you need to do is figure out an idea of what Marvel did and make your own Marvel superheroes except using Spider-Man. Sony can do much better. If Sony can start up with just a normal superhero movie except with no Marvel characters to do their own superhero movies, if the first film doesn't do very well for a lot of people, Make more sequels, make more movies about it, and the more movies you make, the more people can be like, you know what? This is way better of what Sony has been doing uh, with Spider-Man. This is so much better. Sony, if you're watching this video right now, which you're not, but if Sony, but Sony, if you're watching this video right now, I'm just saying that you don't need Spider-Man. You don't need Marvel characters. All you need to do is make your own superhero characters from the animation side and let Phil Murray and let Phil just let Phil Lord and Christopher Miller direct these films and make direct the films and write the films to be like the directors and the writers and then make their own superhero movie. To make their own excuse me, to make their own movie about superheroes and all of that. Like I said before, Sony doesn't need Marvel. Sony could just make their own figure. Sony could just copy of what Marvel is doing and just copy like a story of what Marvel is doing and just think about any other of these Marvel characters and just say like, like oh, they can call one superhero, Mr. Stretchy Man. 
Mr. Stretchman, which is supposed to be Mr. Fantastic, which is supposed to be Mr. Fantastic in Miss Marvel. How they have the stretchy arms, which the, how they have the stretchy arms and all of that. And all of that. Why not they can call him Mr. Stitchman? Or we have like an Iron Man, kind of like Metal Man or Gold Man or like Captain America, just kind of like Captain USA or Captain. You can't call it Captain America, call it like America Cap. Uh, just, just something like that. Make like the hook. Call him a uh, beast man. Call like beast man. Beast man across the hook. Hot guy, arrow man, like arrow man, or like arrow, uh, arrow boy. Just like hot guy, but a kid becoming like arrow boy, or maybe black widow. Kind of like white widow, or red widow, or something like that. Make it like black spy, black, or something like that. Maybe throw, call him lightning man, or Lightning God, or kind of like a lightning, uh, whatever. Just kind of whatever you want to. You can you can copy these Marvel characters, but rename them and work different. You can do your own superhero movie, Sony. And of course, if you do this with the animated side, it would make a lot of money for you guys. It would make a lot of money for Sony. It would be one of the best Sony movies they have ever made. In my opinion, this could by far be one of Sony's amazing ideas. And I was just to see ya. And I'm gonna talk about so part one was of course Marvel Studios decided, hey, why not you give us back the Spider-Man ones? But yeah. But I'm gonna make this second topic a bit more quicker for you guys to know that. Why not? So you guys know back in 2019, Disney required the, the rights of Fox. So Disney purchased 20th Century Fox back in 2019. So you I know that, but yeah. But what if so what if Disney's next big company they're gonna purchase is Sony? Why not Disney just buy Sony in general? And if Disney buys Sony, that means Disney has the rights of Spider-Man and Disney has the rights of Spider-Man right back and Disney can make more Spider-Man movies. Guess what? That could be a good idea. It's like one of these two. One Marvel asking the begging Sony to give us back the Spider-Man rights and time for them to bring us back. Oh, Disney could just buy Marvel. Oh, Disney could just buy Sony. And all of that. I have no idea. Maybe. If this does actually happen, I would like to see this. I would like to see this if Disney does buy Sony. Because if Disney buys Sony, guess what? Disney has... The whole entire library of Sony films to put on Disney Plus and all of that. And of course, guess what? If Disney buys Sony, guess what? The Tobey Maguire Spider-Man films and the Amazing Spider-Man films and the Spider-Man films, the MCU, are Marvel. Look at all of these animated Spider-Man movies that have been looking like Into the Spider-Verse. Across the, across the Spider-Verse. And beyond the Spider Force, guess what? All of those films would belong to Disney. There would be Disney films because Sony was the one that made them, but Disney could have purchased Sony. So, and all of that. I love the idea of Disney just buying Sony because if Marvel, I just get, if, if Marvel is not going to get the Spider Man rights back, guess what? Disney should go all in just buy the Sony company in general. Because Sony is small. But Disney can actually require the we can buy Sony because did, well guys guess what? Guys guess what? Guess what guys guys guess what? Disney has over two hundred billion dollars in the Disney account. Disney can literally just buy Sony with like ten thousand ten billion billion, fifteen billion, or twenty billion dollars to Sony. For, of course, given but by Sony. And all of that. Guess what? There was like a, there was a, there's like a report that came out back in like 2019. About when, when we got the report that Spider-Man is going to remove 
to the MCU back in 2019, when we got that announcement back in 2019, right, right, five years ago. I have heard that, Sir, I have heard that Marvel is going to pay Spider-Man for $10 billion. But that never happened. But, oh, it does. For me, I just feel like there's two ways Marvel could do this. One, Marvel could beg Sony to give them back the Spider-Man rights. Or just purchase pretty much all of their money just to buy Spider-Man back. Oh, Sony just, oh, Marvel should just buy Sony in, in general. I don't really know what they could do and all of that, but I'm just saying that in this topic video, I'm just saying that Disney should just buy Sony. Or Marvel should just give the Spider-Man rights back. I'm just saying, Sony, you are not, you are not the compatible, you are not good enough. Like, Sony, you are not fit to be used as Spider-Man anymore. You was good to use as Spider-Man in the past, but right now, Sony needs to stay away from Spider-Man. Everybody is agreeing with me that, everybody is agreeing with me on the internet that they believe that Marvel needs to get the Spider-Man rights back. And Sony should stay away from Spider-Man. I know that. I don't really know. My prediction is maybe after the Horror Tower Secret Wars, that Sony decides to just give the Spider-Man rights to Marvel. I know that. Because for me... Sony has a few more, Sony can still have a bit, few more years for them to make movies, but after Secret Wars, Sony needs to give the rights back to Marvel. I'm just sorry, but Sony, you are not the chosen one. You was, you was the chosen one, which right now you are no longer the chosen one. You are not the one, you are not, you are not, like, you are ruining Spider-Man. Look at Spider-Man right now. Marvel and Disney fighting over having the rights of Spider-Man. Spider-Man's in the middle, like crying because they're both up. The Spider-Man's in the middle crying because he doesn't. He like he is tired of he's tired of Sony and Disney arguing about who can get the rights and all of that. We all know Spider-Man. We already know that Spider-Man New Hope needs to be Disney because Disney needs to get the Disney need to acquire the rights of Spider-Man. Disney need to get the Spider-Man rights back. It's been over twenty years. It's been twenty. It's been like twenty-eight years, sorry. It's been like twenty-eight years, sorry. No, twenty-six years. I mean, it's been twenty-six years. You need to give. You should give up. You should just give up, sorry, and all of that. So yeah. But I want you guys to leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Tell me guys, what do you guys think about this? Do you guys think that Disney should just buy so do you think that do you think that Disney needs to just buy Sony or Marvel Studios can just Marvel can get Spider Spider-Man rights back? What do you guys think? Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. And also so yeah. I'm gonna end the second topic video here guys. Hope you guys do enjoy the second topic video. If you guys have, then hit that like button down below. Let's try to hit the video to five likes. If you could do that, that would be amazing. Also, if this is the first time here, then click that subscribe button down below. I need you guys' help. I'm trying to get this channel to 3,000 subscribers by, the, by June 12th of this year. So if you guys could go down below and do all of that stuff, that would be amazing. That would help my channel a lot. So yeah. Also, guys, hit that notification bell to never miss when I upload a video. Also, share this video with your friends and the family. And make sure you guys go down below and go subscribe to my two other channels. I need you guys' help on my gaming channel, my second channel. I'm trying to get my gaming channel to 2,000 to 3,000 to 500 subscribers by the end of uh, March. We are like 19 to 18 subscribers away from that. So if you guys could go down below, go subscribe to my gaming channel. That would be amazing. So yeah, that would be the second link in the description down below. So yeah. Also guys, make sure you guys go down below and go subscribe to my Christian channel. I need your help on my Christian channel. I'm trying to get my Christian channel to 
three thousand subscribers by the end of May. So if you guys can help me out with that, that would be amazing. So yeah, stay tuned, guys, because tomorrow. Uh, stay tuned, guys, because tomorrow Thursday, we, well, pretty much the time I record this video is Monday. You're watching this video on Wednesday. I'm trying to get a few videos recorded on Monday throughout the whole entire week, but yeah. But stay tuned, guys, for the third topic video, which is gonna be on Thursday. I'm gonna talk about something a little bit more interesting. Uh, that's been going around lately from Sony and all of that, and Disney and all of that, and yeah. And talk about how maybe the next episode might be the shortest episode uh, that we have ever did. So, yeah. Okay, guys, I hope you guys, so yeah, guys. Stay tuned, guys, for topic number three video on Thursday. Don't forget to go down below, click, click that subscribe button to join the Ninja, Ninja Nation Army. And stick around. Go check out more of my other videos, and I will see my Sony and Marvel fans next time. Peace.